Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Today's my first day of my summer job. Can you guys guess what my summer job is? <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna work with the police. Well, as a junior cadet, that is. I'm not really a real police officer until I go through police academy, but I did get a job right here at Brookhaven Police Department. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, you must be our new recruit, Molly. Are you here for your summer job? That's right. Um, typically, we do not jump over the counter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just ate a lot of cupcakes this morning, and I have a little bit of extra sugar energy. No problem. Around here, we drink coffee every morning, and then we eat donuts, and then we take a nap. Really? That's what my job is? Yeah, and you can also uh, take 911 calls here and there, but this is Brookhaven. Nothing super interesting happens. Would you like a donut? No, I already had a bunch of cupcakes for breakfast. Okay, well, I'm super tired, so uh, I'm gonna go take a little bit of a nap. Really? Yeah, if there's a 911 call and it's a true emergency, come wake me up. Oh my gosh. This isn't the summer job that I thought I'd have. I thought I'd be busting criminals, cracking open cases that no one else can solve. Molly's on the case. But all I'm doing is staring at the wall and listening to the police officer snore. Wow, she snores really loud. Hmm. I feel like I could be of better service if I could actually crack a case. Let's get into the database and see if anything has happened lately. What's this? Looks like on the police surveillance for the bank, it, it looks like someone's trying to break into the ATM? That's it. I have to take the police car and head over there. I don't think the police officer will mind. She's fast asleep. Whoa, I'm actually driving an official police car. This is amazing. How do I turn on the lights? <laughs> I have to try to figure that out. Maybe I should actually not turn them on because if I do, then then the um the criminal will know I'm on my way. Oh, I can't drive very good. Did I mention I may have not gotten my driver's license? Oopsie. There's the criminal now. Hey, freeze! What? What's happening? What's happening is you're getting busted there. Scarface cash grabber! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was your name for me? Yeah, well, I think it's a pretty good one. Actually, my name is Adam Robber. Ah! Ah, you sprayed me in the eyes! Huh? I can't see anything! Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Adam Robber? Seriously, that's your name, Adam Robber? I wonder if there's anything I could steal out of this police car. I hear you! I hear... What? Okay, you... Ah, you're gonna run me over! What? How are you in the same car as me? Get out! I, can't, I couldn't see where I was going, okay? It's not like I wanted to ride with you. But, uh, get out of the car! I'm trying to rob this! Seriously, is your last name really Robber? It was like you were destined to be a criminal. Hey! Wh where are you going? Get back here! I'm stealing this car and I'm getting out of here, of course. Holy quack, I'm only your worst driver than I am. Come back here, cash grabber! Cash grabber! Oh my gosh, I can't run fast enough. Why did I eat so many cupcakes? <laughs> okay, time to put on super speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you! You're under arrest! How'd you run so fast? It's called sugar. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Whatever. Adam Robber never gets put in jail. Well, today's the first day. Now get in the back of the police car. Be quiet. I said the back of the police car. Sorry. That's fine. I guess. Do you want me to turn on the radio? 
Yeah, I love 90s hits. Okay, fine. <laughs>「Let's go into the jail cell fine just want you to know that I always get out always second jail cell down here please in you go wrong one this one wrong one this one what is that cop taking a nap <sighs> lazy well this cop isn't are you even a real cop yes I'm a real cop get in there get in there rude here I open the door now get in you know, I just gotta do this, do that. Okay. Could I please be unhandcuffed? This is uncomfortable. Yeah, okay, come here. Very whiny for a criminal. Thought criminals were tough. Yeah, well, we are. Oh, I have a stomach ache. Ew, gross. <sighs> well, my boss is still asleep, and I already cracked a criminal. Guess it's time to eat a much deserved donut. Hmm, this blueberry donut is delicious. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it must be just my stomach's growling. Mm. So good. So delicious. Oh, I think I might need a nap now. <laughs> what a dumb cop. Scarface cash grabber. Kind of like that name. Might start going by that. See you later, stinker! <laughs> what was that sound? It, 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 it sounded like the helicopter! What? What's that sound? Why do I hear the helicopter? Huh? Was it just a dream? Um, officer, I think we might have a problem! What? What's the problem? We're out of donuts? Um, no. I, um, forgot to lock that door over there. What, to the cell? Okay, sure. What, what's the big deal about that? Um, because I'm pretty sure that, um, Scarface Cash Grabber got out! Who's Scarface Cash Grabber? Only the most notorious bank robber in the United States! I actually caught him today. What? Yeah, but, um, since I wasn't quite sure how to be a police officer, I, well, uh, accidentally left the store open and he's gone! And the sound of the helicopter, I'm guessing, is him taking off. What?! Oh my gosh, Molly, you're not supposed to be trying to go after criminals. Well, somebody had to. All you wanted to do was take a nap and eat donuts. Well, that, that, that's my prerogative. I, I, I'm the boss. I should fire you for this. No, no, I have a plan. Don't fire me. Just just give me a couple more hours. You have until 8 o'clock Brookhaven time, and then you're fired. Okay, okay. All right, I've got to go undercover and look like a criminal. Let's see. I've got to get on my police outfit first. All of this stuff is so cute. Like, look at that little ballerina outfit. Okay, I've got to focus. Danger, yeah. I'm the most dangerous criminal ever. Let's put on a hat or something. I'm just going to, like, cover up my hair so we can't see who I am. What, am I a cowboy criminal? No, not that one either. Okay, yeah, this one's good enough. Time to go find the criminal and convince him that all um, the money is being able to be stolen at the ice cream shop. Then, once I get there... Oh, wait, I probably should tell Sam this plan. Okay, here's my plan. You're just gonna get fired. Just admit it. No, listen to me, Sam. I have to tell you something. Go and wait for me at the ice cream shop. I'll bring the criminal right to you. What are you talking about? The criminal doesn't care about eating ice cream. Just trust me. I'm gonna be a good cop one day. I just know it. This is your last chance, Molly. Or you're gonna get fired. Now I have to try to find that criminal. Hey, is that the criminal's van? Of course, they're staying at this cheap motel. All right, let's go. See if we can convince him I'm a criminal, too. Is he actually in the van? There he is. Hey, man, what's up? Who are you and what do you want? Um, I was just thinking that um, you might be that Adam Robber guy. What? Wait, you've heard of me? Yeah, you're a famous criminal. I want to be just like you. Seriously? You want to be a criminal? Yeah, so much so that I came to give you a tip. W what is it? It's a ton of money, and it's the least likely place you'd ever think. Well, I already robbed the Brookhaven Bank. What else is there? The ice cream shop is loaded with money. An ice cream shop? They don't make that much money. This one does. Everyone goes to this ice cream shop because it's the only one in town. They have tons of money. Whoa. Well, thanks for this tip. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'll come along with you. 
Wait, wait, I want, I want to be just like you. You don't even have to give me any of the money. I, I just want to hang out. All right, I guess I could make you my criminal in training. <laughs> but like I said, you don't get any money. Yeah, okay. I don't have to have any of the money. Can I have an ice cream cone though? I'm kind of hungry. I don't care if you eat an ice cream cone. Jeez, try not to be annoying. Yeah, okay, come on. Let's go get some ice cream. And a lot of money. Yep, lots and lots of money. <laughs> Time to steal some cash. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hmm. Getting any money yet? Doesn't look like there's as much money as you thought there was. Well, I'm sure you'll get lots of money. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hold it right there, criminal. You're under arrest. What? <laughs> Remember me, Scarface cash grabber? I'm just gonna run out the back. Good luck with that. It's a dead end. What? Oh my god, I've got nowhere to go! Yeah, except for prison. <laughs> Ow. You hit me with the door. You know, I'm cool. And this time, I've got to remember to lock the door. Very good job, Molly. I'm proud of you. Does that mean I'm not fired? That means you're not fired. But you're not allowed to go on assignment by yourself anymore. Okay, well, does that mean you'll stop sleeping and eating donuts and actually take me on an assignment? Yeah, we just got a 911 call. Very serious. Really? What is it? A cat is up the tree. Can you believe it? Oh, brother. Let me out of here. I don't deserve to be in here. You do the crime, you do the time, Scarface cash grabber. Oh. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Marty, shh, please. I am trying to write an email to the other people in my science fail group. And you're really being loud. Oh, sorry. Mm. These Doritos are good. Now you're crunching too loud. Piggy, piggy. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just sitting here watching cops. No, Molly, I want you to get up and do your chores, please. Please vacuum the floor. But, Mom, I can't move. I'm too full of Doritos. What? Doritos? You're not supposed to be eating those. Go in the kitchen and eat something healthy if you're hungry. Who said anything about being hungry? I just like the taste of Doritos. Molly, oh, you're killing me here. You're killing me. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Ugh. Do I really have to vacuum? Yes! Okay. Chores are so lame. Aww. Molly, everyone has to pitch in so that the house is nice and clean and runs smoothly. All I hear you say is blah, 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 blah. Boss Molly around, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you are vacuuming the floor. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to turn into a couch potato. Too late. Oh, could, I, could I eat some potato chips, Mom? I'm still kind of hungry. No, of course you can't, Molly. Have an apple. Apple? No way. Molly, you can't just eat bad food all the time. Your body needs healthy things. Ugh. Eat healthy, Molly. Vacuum the floor, Molly. Be quiet, Molly. Can I finally watch my cops episode while eating this apple? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Molly, have you done your homework? Huh? What? Can't hear you. She asked if you've done your homework. Uh, yeah, sure. Molly, if you did your homework, let me see it. Oh, um, uh, okay. Oh, homework, homework, homework. Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Okay, here it is. Here you go, Mom. Molly, this is just a blank piece of paper. There's nothing on it. Oh, um, yeah, well, <laughs> that's just because you can't see it because you have grown-up eyes. Yeah, that's it. It's magical homework. Molly, are you really thinking that I'm going to believe you on this one? She knows you're being ridiculous, Molly. <laughs> Me? Ridiculous? I'm offended that you guys would think I was ridiculous. Of course it's magic homework. Molly, I wasn't born yesterday. This is a blank piece of paper. Do your homework. Wow, snappy! Do your homework right now! Okay, fine. Ugh, my mom is so bossy. She just makes me do stuff 
all the time that I don't want to do. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the opposite of what my mom says for 24 hours. <laughs> Molly, would you please mop the floor too? <sighs> my feet are sticking to it. It's really gross. You're supposed to mop. Actually, Daisy's supposed to mop. No, I did it um, last week, Molly. It's your turn. Okay, Mom. I'll mop the floor. Not. I'm going to do the opposite of what she says. And chill on the couch. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? <laughs> Molly, um, it's time for dinner. Come on, girls. Daisy. Oh, boy. Dinner. What are we having? Pizza? No, we're having a delicious chicken bake with healthy vegetables. Ugh! Sounds miserable. I think it sounds delicious. Of course you would, Daisy. Ugh. I know what to do with this. <laughs> Hi, Coco. Do you want a delicious chicken dinner with vegetables? Here you go. <laughs> you can have all of it. Ugh. Who wants to eat that when you can have a candy bar? <laughs> Molly, are you letting are you letting Coco eat your dinner? Who me? No, never. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell mom. Tattletail! You better not! Okay, fine, Molly, but you better not feed that food to the dog. Hmm. This Hershey bar is delicious. And a donut to wash it down. <laughs> Ugh, kind of got a stomach ache. Oh, well, it's still delicious. Molly, did you finish your homework? Yeah, sure, I got it all done. Wait, Mom, where are you? I'm over here. No, you're all over there. Wait, wait, where? She's magic. She disappeared. Mom? 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 Molly, what are you doing? <laughs> that was funny. I'm trying to get the laundry done. Would you like to help? Um, Let me think about that for a minute. Uh, eh, uh, eh. No! Oh, Molly, you're so helpful, aren't you? <sighs> okay, why don't you go take a bath? It's almost time for bed. Okay! Bath. <laughs> I'm not taking a bath. Where's a giant mud puddle I can splash in? That sounds like a much better idea. Aren't there any mud puddles in Brookhaven? I'm, a girl doesn't want to take a bath, unless it's a mud bath. <laughs> I have an idea. Since I have to do the opposite of everything my mom says, I have to get very dirty right now. And I know the perfect place. La 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 la. I'm gonna roll around in the dumpster. <laughs> Wait, where is the dumpster? Oh, there it is. This is going to be epically smelly. Whee! <laughs> Oh, it's stinky in here. Oh, it smells so bad. It's perfect. Wow, the stink is just wafting off of me. <laughs> I am surrounded in a stink cloud. Perfect. Oh, what is that awful smell? It smells like a dead fish mixed with a sewer. Ew. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you want to switch beds with me tonight? Uh, not really. I like my bed. It's comfortable. <coughs> I can't breathe. Wait a minute. Molly, is that you that smells that way? And you wanted to sleep in my bed? Well, I don't want to make my bed smell bad. Molly, get out of my bed right this instant. Molly, ew. I'm telling mom. You better not. You're a tattletale. Okay, fine. I'll just wear my gas mask and change my sheets. But why don't you take a bath? And what were you doing? Rutting with the pigs? Something like that. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Oh, wait. It's still Molly. <laughs> Daisy, come closer. Come closer. Ah, get away from me! Girls, what are you doing? Mom, why are you still standing in front of the washing machine? Because there's so much laundry. I'm still doing another load of it this morning. Wow, you do a lot of laundry. You girls go through a lot of clothes. Ew, what's that smell? Are you wearing the same clothes you did yesterday? Those aren't clean anymore. I know they're not clean. 
Molly, go change right this instant. <coughs> Molly, the bus is here. Molly, oh my goodness. Do you have gym clothes in your bag? Uh, yeah. Just change into those when you get to school so you're not late. Come on, go before you miss the bus. Have a great day, Molly. Don't get detention. Uh, no promises. Mom says I have to get on the bus. There's the bus. But since it's still 24 hours, I have to do the exact opposite of what Mom says. <laughs> Dad? Oh, hi. Dad, what are you doing? I really didn't want to go to work today, so I'm hiding in the bushes. Dad? Get out of here. This is my hiding space. Okay, Dad. Whatever. You're going to get fired. Oh, uh, no. I'm just going to take a personal day. I need to hide from the world. Me too. Well, pick your own hiding spot. And also, you smell terrible. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, another long day of work. Hopefully Molly doesn't get detention. <laughs> Mom's gone. Well, Mom, I can't get detention because I'm not actually at school. <laughs> ah, finally. Now I can watch my favorite show without anybody irritating me. Okay, is Cops not on? Because that will make me sad. Oh, yeah, Cops is on. Oh, yeah, and eat some Doritos. Gonna chill out. Mm. Doing the opposite of what my mom said for 24 hours was the best decision of my life. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot my purse. Molly? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Molly! Did you just skip school? Why do you still smell? Why are you eating unhealthy food? Um, well, I was sort of just getting a little sick of you bossing me around all the time, so I decided to do the opposite of what you said for 24 hours. Molly! I tell you these things because I want you to be healthy and successful and a good human being. Oh, you drive me crazy. And to that end, you're grounded for an entire week. What? An entire week? Yes. Now go take a bath so I can drive you to school, Stinky. Oh, man. This opposites thing didn't work out at all. Chop, chop, Molly. Chop, chop. Okay, fine. I could go to school smelly. No way. Hurry. Um, if you're thinking about doing the opposite of what your mom says, here's my advice. Don't! Good morning, girls. I'm just about to make breakfast. Oh, boy, Mom, can we have pancakes? Sorry, Molly. I don't have the ingredients for pancakes this week. But, Mom, I really want pancakes. Come on, it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds really good, Mom, please. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, there, There's no pancake mix, and I don't have money for that this week, okay? Fine. Dizzy, why are you just staring at the empty TV screen with nothing on it? Well, I'm imagining that we had cable. What do you mean? We, we don't? No, girls, I'm sorry. Your dad and I are trying to save money, so... Um, we decided to take the cable out. There's still the news station, though. The news station? Who wants to watch that garbage, Mom? Oh, that's so boring. Wait a minute. Is that a leftover piece of pizza? Mine! I claim it! Mmm, so good, Mom. You make the best homemade pizza ever. Molly, that's weird to eat that for breakfast. I think it's delicious. Mmm. So, Daisy, would you like some oatmeal for breakfast? No, I'm not really even hungry. <sighs> I wish we could go with everyone else somewhere today. What do you mean? Where is everyone going? Oh, everyone in our school and their families are going to the water park in Brookhaven. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's like $50 a person. Per person? Per family? That's right, Mom. So it would be about $200 for us to go. $200? What's the school crazy? We can't afford that. Oh, Mom. Come on. Can't we go, please? You must have a little bit in your, um, in your wallet or something, right? I only have, like, $3, and I have to use that for gas money to get to, to my job, girls. Like, I don't have $200 to take you to the water park. This is the most terrible summer ever. It's just... I hate being poor! I hate it! <laughs> Ugh, I feel like a horrible mom. I wish I could afford to take you girls to the water park. Molly, come here, please! What? I'm pouting in my room. What do you want? Now I'm going to pout in the bathroom. 
Molly, come out here, please. What? You made Mom feel really sad. I'm really sorry, girls, that I can't give you more things. Like, you know, expensive tickets to water parks and, and beautiful clothes, but I love you more than anything, and I always make sure you have a roof over your head, even if it leaks a little. And, and, and I have food in your belly, even though it's not always exactly what you want. I always make sure that you know that I love you so much, and I hope someday you'll know that that's enough. I didn't want to tell you girls this. I wanted it to be a surprise, but since you're so sad about the water park, I guess I'll tell you now. We're going to Disney? Whoa, Mom, this is amazing! Molly, she didn't say we were going to Disney. Ay, ay, ay. No, your dad and I managed to save up to take you girls to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? That's all we're doing all summer? Ugh, I knew you wouldn't be very impressed. It's all we can afford, girls. We're only getting ice cream one time this summer. Ugh, oh, working three jobs is just killing me. Ugh, oh, I've been working on cutting down all these trees to make lumber all day, and it's exhausting. Well, I guess now's the perfect time to get that ice cream, Dad, since you look really hot. I am. It's 100 degrees outside. Wait, you told the girls about our surprise trip? Well, I had to. They wanted to go to the water park, and we can't afford to send them, even though they're the only ones at school that aren't going to be able to go. Oh, we failed as parents. No, you didn't. We're happy that we get to eat ice cream, right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm going to get my favorite. But only one scoop. It's all we can afford. Okay, well, let's get going, guys. Come on, girls, get in. Dad, are you sure you don't just want to walk? I mean, your car has a habit of actually not getting us anywhere, ever. It's always breaking down. Yeah, and it smells like a rotten egg fart. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Yes, it does, Dad. It literally smells like a giant fart. What's wrong with your car? Uh, the girls do have a point, honey. It does smell pretty bad. Well, hopefully it just gets us there. That's all I care about. Uh, Dad? I smell something really funny. Oh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> Leftover pizza does it to me every time. Oh, uh, maybe it wasn't your car that smelled like a rotten egg fart. Maybe it was Molly this whole time. Ew, Molly. What? What? We have money to go through the car wash? No, it's free car wash day. We need to take care of that smell. But, Dad, we're, ah, we're getting soaked, Dad. Well, you're the one that I think is making it smell like a rotten egg fart, so Molly, you need a bath. We could all use a bath. The water's not running at the house real well these days. Ah! <laughs> I got soap in my hair! I think that's kind of the point, Dad. <laughs> not only does the car get washed, we do too! Free baths for everyone! Now that we're all clean and smell good, we can go into the ice cream shop. I can't believe it! The car actually made it this time. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of flavors do I want? Remember, Molly, just one scoop. It's all we can afford. Oh, well, I'm definitely getting my favorite mint chocolate chip. Mm, that is so good. So good. Mm. Whoa, who's that? They're pulling up in a limo, Daisy. Whoa, they look so rich. I bet they're the rip richest people in all of Brookhaven. Ooh, I'm going to get a scoop of everything. Then I'm going to go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy five new purses. Oh, honey. <laughs> Slow down with all this spending of our money. Just kidding. We're billionaires. You can have anything you want. Whatever makes your heart happy. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Wow. Wonder what it's like to be that rich. Yeah, Molly, me too. I can see it now. This is gonna be the perfect spot for my new mansion. Let's see, which mansion do I want? I am so rich, I can have anyone I every anyone I want, really. Um, it just depends on the the one I think is the cutest. Oh, MG, this one's really cool. This is the one I'm gonna have in Brookhaven, but I'm also gonna have one in Hawaii. And I'm going to have one in Malibu, so this is just my Brookhaven one. Wow. Look at my new house. It's amazing. 
I'm so rich that I had an architect build this house completely off center. Look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling down no matter where I am in the house. This house cost me $4 million. It was worth every, every penny. Sometimes I just lay money down as my pillow and I, I sleep on it because that's how rich I am. Like I can make money into pillows. Sometimes I even take a bath in money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I got me stacks of cash. I think I'm going to go buy a fancy sports car like right now. What kind of sports car would I want? I could buy a school bus. Yeah, I'm going to buy a school bus and a sports car because that's kind of funny. Ooh, look at this. I really like this. Okay, I'm buying that. It's like not letting me. Okay, fine. I'll try this sports car then. This one's better than that pink one anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at my new car. Oh, I'm so rich. It's just like the best thing in the world. Ah, time to go to the beach. Ah, as soon as I learn how to drive. Whoa, I totally ran into my new house. Oh, well, I'll just buy a new garage if I ruin this one. Ah, why won't the wheel turn? Obviously, I need to hire our driver. I can do that. I'm rich, you know. I'll also hire a chef, and I'll hire, I'll hire everything. I'll hire a housekeeper. And when you're rich, you can do whatever you want. You can sit on the beach all day, just counting your money and feeling the sunshine on your face. <sighs> and guess what? You never have to go to school ever again. Whoa, 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 Molly. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? The rich have the best life ever. They still have to go to school, Molly, whether you're rich or not. Nope. Mm. If I had all the money in the world, no more school for me. Molly, it's against the law to not go to school. You have to go to school. Okay, but the teachers would work for me. That means no more detention. Yeah, if you say so, Molly. Molly, would you really want to be rich? Well, yeah. Wouldn't be ri being rich be awesome? Yeah, but you'd have different parents and a different sister and everything. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. So, would you still want to be rich? Well, I sure would miss my mom and my dad. Hey, where's mom? Sorry, I had to go put another quarter in the parking meter. Ugh, oh, it was the last quarter I had to. Well, maybe I can find another one under the couch cushion. <laughs> maybe we could save up and bring the girls back to the ice cream shop one other time this summer. That would be so nice. As much as being rich would be amazing, I sure would miss my mom and dad and sister. Really, Molly? You, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be rich? Nah, not if I couldn't be rich with you guys. And you guys, well, are poor. So I'm going to stay being a family with you guys. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. And when I grow up, I'm going to do something awesome like be a doctor, or a rocket scientist or something. And I'm going to make sure that I buy us all a really nice house. Oh, Molly, you don't have to do that. But you're such a sweetheart for saying it. Yeah, no money can buy an amazing family. And mine sure does love me a whole lot. Good morning, my dark little fairies. It's time to wake up. Girls, come on. You have so much dark fairy training to do today. Oh, it's just five more minutes, Bob. I'm so tired. No, come on. We have lots of dark fairy training to do. Fine. Oh, I'm awake. Your eyes aren't even open, Daisy. I'm working on it, jeepers. Now, Daisy... I expect you to try your best in dark fairy training today. I have been, Mom. It's just really hard for me. It doesn't come naturally. Well, you better make it come naturally because you're a part of this dark fairy family. And, 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 and we're dark fairies. It's what we do. You keep failing all your classes at dark fairy school. I'm sorry I'm such a failure. Ah. It's another beautiful morning as a fairy. A dark fairy, that is. Oh my gosh, Molly! Oh my god, are you serious right now? What? What, what happened? Do I have bad morning breath? 
<laughs> Did I fart in my sleep? Molly, you got your fairy wings. Wait, what? What? Oh my gosh, I thought I felt different. I'm never going to get my fairy wings. Wow, I can't believe you didn't get your fairy wings yet, Daisy. Hmm, maybe they'll come next month. Oh my gosh, look at my fairy wings. They're dark and red, and I am the best dark fairy ever. Yeah, I guess you are. Girls, it's almost time for your dark fairy training. You know you can't be late for school, or else you'll get detention. Not me, I never get detention. Okay, girls, well, go eat your breakfast and hurry off to the bus. Good morning! Oh my gosh! Molly, you got your dark fairy wings! Oh, my little girl is so grown up! I didn't get mine, so don't even talk to me about it. Don't worry, Daisy, I'm sure your fairy wings will come in soon enough. Mmm, this apple is delicious. An apple? Why are you eating an apple? Dark fairies don't eat healthy. Yeah, we eat candy bars and soda for breakfast because it rots our teeth and makes us extra mean. This morning, mm, I'm going to eat some ice cream mm, because it's naughty to eat for breakfast. And I'm a dark fairy. <laughs> yeah, you're a dark fairy. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, that's all I hear in this family. Dark fairy, dark fairy. Um, well, you are a part of the dark fairy family, so we say dark fairy a lot. Yeah, we love being dark fairies, don't you, Daisy? Um, well, uh, uh... Are you saying you don't like being a part of this dark fairy family? I'm sure that's not what she's saying, Dad. She's just jealous that we all have our wings and she doesn't. I'm not jealous! Okay, girls, I'd love to see you argue some more. That's exactly what dark fairies do. But you need to get to school, so get going. Okay, Mom, I, I, I love you guys. Is that what a dark fairy would say? Or would I say, I hate everyone? <laughs> but the truth is, I really do love my parents. Daisy, why are you in math class so early? Class doesn't start for another 10 minutes. Um, well, I was just trying to get ahead of the class, you know. Um, do what I'm supposed to in here and get good grades. Well, everybody knows the dark fairy never comes to class early. That's what a good person would do. Or a good fairy or a good unicorn, but not a dark fairy. Go out to your locker and wait another ten minutes. Um, okay. Apparently I can't do anything right at dark fairy school. And don't cry. Crying is for babies. Be angry. That's what dark fairies do. <laughs> and be charming and good looking too, like I am. <laughs> See this hair? It's like a model's hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, hey, Savannah. Oh, hey, Molly. Oh, my gosh. A freshman got her wings? Yeah, they're pretty epic, aren't they? Oh, my gosh. I didn't get my wings until I was, like, a sophomore. Yeah, and guess what, Savannah? My wings are so much bigger, and they are red and gorgeous. Oh, well, whatever. I mean, I am part vampire, so that makes me very unique. Whoa, part vampire? Does that mean you want to suck up blood? No, I just do that to humans, <laughs> not other dark fairies. You see, my dad is a vampire, and my mom is a dark fairy, so that's how I ended up the way I am. Okay, Savannah, well, um, I guess we should get into class. Oh, Molly, you keep hitting me with your wings! So, why didn't your sister get her wings yet? I don't know, maybe she's gonna wait till she's a sophomore like you. Can we stop talking about the fact I don't have my wings? <sighs> Whatever. Alright, it's time to go to class, everybody. I'm a minute late. <laughs> that makes me extra dark today. Whoa, Molly got her wings! That's awesome, Molly, congrats! Thank you. I'm super happy about them. Uh, except for they make it kind of hard to sit down in my seat because they're so huge and they poke me. It's okay. You'll get used to your wings. <laughs> so, we're going to do a little refresher here because Daisy doesn't seem to get the very easy math problems yet. So, we're waiting on her to catch up with the class. Daisy, 2 plus 2 equals... Um, 2 plus 2 equals 4. 
Ah, you're never gonna get this! Two plus two equals do evil! Oh, how can you even call yourself a dark fairy? Oh, just go to the principal. I don't know what to do with you anymore. Let's see, what kind of evil dark fairy stuff can I do today? I know, I'll send out a bunch of spam emails. <laughs> um, principal, I got sent down here by, by Mr. Smith. What? You're in my office again, Daisy? Ugh, why are you here? Because I answered another math problem wrong. But listen, two plus two does equal four. Look, Daisy, I wish I could say that Dark Fairy School is working out for you, but you're hereby expelled. Ah! No, you can't expel me. I'll try harder. I can be a Dark Fairy. I just know it. I, I, I can't tell my parents. They'll be so disappointed. They'll disown me. <laughs> Please, Principal, let me stay. I'm begging you. That just proves that you'll never be a dark fairy right there. You started crying and begging me to take you back to the school. Uh, a dark fairy would never cry and beg. Well, maybe I'm not meant to be a dark fairy. I don't even want to be a dark fairy. Why do I have to fit in your stinky... Dark fairy mold anyway. I could be anything I want. Guess what? I want to be a scientist. What? O-M-G. That's it. I'm calling your parents. Your ex spell. Yeah, yeah. You already said that. See you later. Oh my gosh. She might have a little dark fairy in her after all. I mean, she actually talked back to me. Hello, this is Dark Fairy Laura. Hi, this is Molly and Daisy's principal at Dark Fairy School. Oh no, what's going on now? I'm sorry to say, but Daisy's been expelled. She's never going to be a Dark Fairy. Say what? I don't need this town, and I don't need my Dark Fairy family. I, I can make it on my own without them, since I'll never fit in with them. This isn't so bad, right? I mean, I have my very own trash can to live in. And um, if I could find the lid, uh, I wouldn't even get wet when it rains. And inside the trash can is a moldy bean burrito. You can't do any better than that. Oh, who am I kidding? I lost everything because I wasn't a dark fairy. But I can't change who I am. I'm not a dark fairy. I'm good. I'm good right down to my bones. I just wish, more than anything, I could have a family who really loved me as I am. La, 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 la. Just looking for some good in the world. And if I don't find any, I'll make some good myself. <gasps> Look at that girl. She's so dirty and... Ooh, smelly. <laughs> Hi. Who, who, who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> well, if you couldn't tell, I'm a unicorn. What? A unicorn? That's right. My name is Unifer. Unifer? I never met a, 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 a unicorn before, Unifer. Well, I never met a... Wait, what are you? Are you, like, a trash girl or something? No, I don't live here normally. I mean, well, I do now, but you see, my family was a dark fairies. Ah, oh, dark fairies? Where? Where? Oh, my gosh, dark fairies, they're so evil. Ah, uh, no, they're not here. You see, everybody was a dark fairy in my family, except for me. Wait, you're not a dark fairy? No. I'm Daisy. I'm just Norma. And I think I might be really good. Oh, me too, because I'm a unicorn and all unicorns are good. Well, except for the few dark unicorns. Never get near a dark unicorn. Um, okay, I won't. Um, but I'm just saying, like, I, I, I don't have a family. 
What? Oh, I see an opportunity to do some good. Why are you singing right now? Oh, we just sing whenever we um, feel super happy. It's just like our whole lives are like a musical. Because I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. I'm full of good and rainbows and light. Puppies and kittens love me. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, yeah, thanks for the song and dance. But I have to go back to eating my lunch. I'm super hungry. No, 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 no. I could adopt you. You could come and live with me and my husband in Unicorn Land. Wait, really? But I'm Pot Dog Fairy. Don't worry, we won't tell anybody that. And you don't have your wings or anything. And you seem really good. So, um, why don't you come live with us? We always wanted to adopt a daughter. I'd love to! Um, Unifo, could I call you mom? Of course! I'd love to be your unicorn mommy. Now, let's see if I can whip up some magic and make these clothes look much better. <laughs> what am I wearing? Holy cow, this is quite the outfit there, mommy unicorn. You look gorgeous! Now, come on. I want you to meet your entire unicorn family. You're going to finally live happily ever after. Hold it right there. What have you done to my daughter? What have I done? What have you done trying to make her into a dark fairy when she's so obviously not one? Um, uh, uh, I don't know what to say right now. You can say that you're coming home with me. You're a dark fairy, Daisy. You're my daughter. But I'm not a dog fairy. Look, I don't even have wings. That's right. She's coming to live with me in Unicorn Land. And who are you? I'm Unifer, and I'm her new mom. I'll always be your mom. You'll always be a dark fairy at heart. Um, not anymore, Mom. Not anymore. Well, you need to decide. Am I your mom or is she your mom? You're both my mom, okay? But I think I need to live in unicorn land. I'm just good. I can't help it. I can't believe it. My daughter thinks she's good. Ah! Wow, that was dramatic. Yeah, dark fairies usually are pretty dramatic. Well, come on, Daisy. It's time to st start your new life as a unicorn. What are you waiting for? Come on! Sorry! <laughs> I just can't move in this outfit. It's kind of stiff. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Mari, I am so hungry. Come on. This fast food place looks perfect. Uh, to me it looks a little creepy. I mean, it's abandoned, Daisy. Perfect! And that means we get to eat all the food. Um, okay, but look at their their mascot is really creepy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my hamburger store. Oh, uh, yeah, he is super creepy. His song is weird. Totally. Oh, look at all this free food. Maddie, that's not real. Yes, it is. It smells real. Oh, I thought it was fake, like it was just a for display. No, it's definitely real. Uh, yeah, but somebody else ate that. They might, like, have snow vid or something. Yeah, okay, she has a... Oh, my God! What is that? Ah! What just happened? <laughs> now you're my prisoner forever. Um, well, um, wait, is that a potty? Oh, at least I got a potty. Can I flush myself down it? No, we made the potty too small. I can't even flush myself down it. Molly, oh my gosh, he captured me and I'm stuck in here in prison with you. This is my worst nightmare. I'm breaking out of here. Daisy, wait for me. Seriously, I don't want to be stuck here. Molly, I think we, I think we need to hurry because he might get us and, and this time he might chomp on us. You think the hamburger's going to eat us? He might, Molly, he just might. Holy guacamole. What's that say? Meet Mr. French Fries. My fries pack a punch? Oh my gosh. These are evil fast food characters. You can see that again. 
All right, where are we going now? Oh, wait, what's this one say? Run for Mr. Fry's award. Wait a minute, where's Mr. Fry's? Right there, Marley! He's got a really nasty punch. Did you not read the postal? Yeah, I read the poster. Wow, he is really grumpy looking. And he looks like he's wearing a cowboy hat. Molly, hurry! I'm hurrying. Oh my gosh. Is he still after me? Oh, thank goodness. Don't touch. Uh, duh. I've played a few obbies in my day. I know not to touch. Seriously, because you will get, like, totally burned up. Molly, we have to be careful. That's what they cook the french fries in. It's like lava. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, uh, whoever made this obby, it's pretty creative. I'm gonna give you two thumbs up so far. Molly, we haven't even finished playing the obby yet. Alright, yeah, you have a point there. <laughs> boing, 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 Wee! Oh man, that guy fell into like a... What? Ow, I, that hurt! What, what was that all about? Oh, welcome to my laser land. <laughs> Have fun dying. Wow, you really are just so evil, Mr. Cheeseburger. All right, this is pretty actually easy. You just have to jump on these buns and then don't get um like licked by the hamburger's tongue. Because if you do, nah, 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 you will die. He is so creepy. Oh my gosh, who's that guy? Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Oh no, it's the angry hamburger guy again! All right, I can do this, I can do this. Molly, he is going to kill you. Just, just know this already. What, no, he can't kill me. I've gotta get away from here. Far, far away! <sighs> Does he chase you down the bridge? Yes, Molly, keep running, keep running! Don't, Molly, don't turn around, he's right behind you. All right, I'm trying to not turn around, but uh, I sort of did. Wait, did he stop chasing me? Yeah, Molly, a door comes down and then he can't get you anymore. Oh, this game is stressful. Now I'm dreaming about cupcakes. Ah, cupcakes, I love you. Let me count the ways. Molly, snap out of it. We have to keep going. Boing, boing, boing. Whoa, almost fell onto the, like, what is that? I think you fall down through outer space if you die. All right, well, I don't want to fall down through outer space. <laughs> I want to try to survive, okay? This Abby's a little weird. It's a little weird, but it's still cool. What's that? Like some sort of bubble or something? Um, yeah, I totally I totally got hit by that um, bubble or whatever. Oh, look at it. It's a hamburger mobile. All right, take me away, hamburger mobile. Well, what's this? Um, hamburger mobile. Oh, okay, you don't go through the lasers. Okay. Oh, man! I jumped on that and I died. That was such a trick. Oh, that guy... <laughs> that guy's running down the edge. He's like, whatever. I don't care. I'm cheating. Whoa! Hamburger mobile! Wow! You're really going fast! Slow down. You're gonna give me a stomach ache. Molly, come on! Well, whoopsie. <laughs> I sort of fell apart at the end. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just get onto the hamburger and you have to time it just right or you die, basically. Oh, you don't say. Uh, how about now? Yes, Molly, good job. Okay, now don't let the lasers get you. I'm gonna try not to let the lasers get me because then I'll die. And I don't feel like dying. Finally, there you are, Molly. Look at all these pieces of um, hamburger. Mmm, this is making me hungry. I wouldn't need here, Molly. It's obviously going to be poison. Obviously. All right, what is this? Uh, Molly, that's a giant hamburger guy trying to get you. Uh, yeah, he's super slow, though. Get out of here with your crazy hands. Okay, here comes the hand. Okay. Ah, he's trying to reach for me, but he can't. Hey, <laughs> you're too slow. What's that say? Missing? Oh, no. Oh, here's more of his hands. How many hands does this guy have? A lot, Molly. No, he's just chasing us. He doesn't have more than one set of hands. Oh, I'm like going down a hill here. This is weird. Whoa, I feel so strange right now. 
Okay, somebody else is chasing me now. I don't know who, but I'm just running. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Huh. Did I get away from them? I think they're still above me. I don't even know what was chasing me. Buddy, come down here. Morph into a potato. Eh, why not? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a chicken nugget. Um, uh, yeah, that's worth 200 Robux. Oh, boy, Miley, seriously? Yep, I'm totally turning into a chicken nugget. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I just got to have the power of the chicken nugget in my hand. Chicken nugget power! I don't know what this is going to do, but all right. Maybe I could eat it. Well, it definitely doesn't keep me safe from the lasers. Oh, wait, no, it did turn me into a chicken nugget. Oh, man, I am ugly. All right, um, fast food jump scare. Wave. Hello! McNuggets jump scare. Oh, yeah, I'm boogieing down as a chicken nugget. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, God, I fell off the edge. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was worth... Uh, 200 Robux, guys, because look at me. Aren't I the cutest chicken nugget you ever did see? Uh, Molly, I have to be honest with you. You're ugly. What? Don't you say that about my chicken nugget. Molly, just come on, chicken nugget. Let's go. I'm an adorable, super cute chicken nugget. You just wish you could be as cute as me. Oh, yeah, as cute, as cute as me. Oh, gosh, please, for the love of all people in Roblox, stop singing. You're just so jealous, because I'm a cute little McNugget. Oh, boy. Please tell me this is not my life right now. It's your life. Whoa, the bridge keeps disappearing. Wait for the wait for the nugget. Wait for the chubby nugget. I'm a chubby, chubby, chubby nugget. Um, run it, kid. Run where? Okay, um, Daisy, is that you? <laughs> Who's Daisy? Ah, oh my gosh. I, okay, um, apparently I need to run, but this person is, like, stop it. I'm trying to get off your head right now. All right, maybe if I just do this. Okay, I think we're kind of stuck together. Let, let me try this. Uh, no, we're definitely stuck together. Uh, maybe if I unmorph, I, I don't, I don't know what to do right now. Seriously, I'm walking on this character's head. I can't get off the head! Oh, man! I'm stuck here! Molly, she threw me in jail! Oh, whoa! Um, like, just so you know, like, just because I'm a chicken nugget doesn't mean we're on the same side or anything. I think you're the cutest chicken nugget I ever did see. Let me, let me out of here! All right, maybe if I go back out of here, finally, she'll just leave me alone. Wanna go on a date, Chicken Nugget? Uh, no, not really. Literally, guys, she... She's like a crazy stalker! Molly, are you gonna ever rescue me for jail? Uh, Daisy, I'd love to, but I... I can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm stuck here, guys. I'm stuck here. Oh, man! I just kind of stuck my booty in her face. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man, that's funny. Okay, maybe if I do that and then, like, run. No, we're, like, the same person now. Want to get married, Chicken Nugget? No, I don't want to marry you. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm just going to go jump over the edge, guys. I don't know what to do. All right, wait. I got rid of her. I got rid of her. Hey, ah, now she got me. I just wanted to marry you, and you didn't want to marry me. That is so rude. Uh, now I'm in prison. And it doesn't seem to be that there's any way out. That's right. You're just stuck here forever. That's what happens when you don't want to marry me. Um, all right. Well, I'm sorry about that. But but seriously, that uh, I can't marry you. I, I don't like you that much. Molly, do I have to do everything for you? Daisy, you rescued me? You're so nice right now. Yeah, don't turn him back into that chicken nugget, though. It's creepy. Molly, don't! <laughs> I'm a little chicken nugget. I'm so cute because I'm a chicken nugget. Molly, if you don't stop singing that song, I'm going to fly you up and let the customers chomp down on you. Whoa. Rude. <laughs> hey, guys. Do you love my cute little chicken nugget face? Slam that like button if you do. 
Oh my gosh, I have to end this video. It's just torture. <laughs> Bye guys! I am far too lazy to keep walking to school every day. I finally saved up some money and now I'm gonna buy my very first car. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm at the car lot today to see what kind of car I can get. Holy guacamole, this one's amazing. Well, hello there, I'm Rick. You can call me Ricky though. Um, okay, your name is Rick, but you like being called Ricky. Okay, got it. Salesman Ricky, I love this car. Oh yeah, this is a uh, top of the line sports vehicle right here. It's only $100,000. <laughs> Pretty easy for a student like you to afford, right? Not. <laughs> well, uh, Ricky, no, actually you're right. I could never afford this car. <laughs> Can I just sit in it? I like the new car smell. <sighs> no, you can't sit in it. Of course not. It's only for people who make $100,000 a year or more. They're the only ones that can sit in it. Oh, man. I should have told you that after I sat in it, huh? Tell me what your budget is, and I'd be happy to get you in one of these vehicles. Um, well, uh, let me count how much I have. 10, 20, 30, 40. I have, um, $100. Whoa, $100? <laughs> that barely buys you a sandwich at McDonald's these days. You think you're going to get a car for that? Um, yeah. Well, I might have one car. Hooray! <laughs> Which one is it? Which one? Oh, boy. This one's not 11. I swear, it's a great car. Um, are you sure it's not going to break down on me? There is a lemon law in Brookhaven, you know. I'm serious. This is not a lemon car. <laughs> not even a lime. So what's it going to take to get you in this beautiful car? Actually, it's kind of the color of a lime. Yes, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Hand over that money and get in the car. Okay, well, I guess. But it, it works really good, right? It sure does. <laughs> Chest it out. Um, okay, wait. We're, we're just going to have to hotwire it together. Really? Why? Well, you didn't expect this car to be brand new, did you? <laughs> you only have $100. No, but, um, how will I know to hotwire it? Don't worry, you'll figure it out super easy. <laughs> look at you, you look so amazing in your brand new car! Um, yeah, that does sound pretty good. Okay, just a little hot wiring here and a hot wiring there. And look at the car started right up. Oh, don't run over me. Do you have your driver's license? Holy guacamole! Uh, yeah, I just got it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, oops, that's reverse. Okay, thank you, Ricky. See you later. If you have any problems, don't call me. There's no refunds and there is no uh, money back or warranties or anything. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Whoa, this car is, well, uh, kind of all over the road. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, man. All right, well, I just got to get back in because I thought it was stalling, but it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna go home, and um, then I'm gonna have a new car tomorrow. It's gonna be amazing. I'm not gonna have to walk to school. <laughs> Wait till my sister sees my new car. She's gonna be so jealous. Ugh, it won't reverse. Okay, there we go. Whoa, it almost ran into the garage door. Um, oh, wait a minute. I don't have my garage door opener. Well, I'll just go inside and get it. Wait a minute. Why won't the door open? I, 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 the door won't open. Oh, man. Okay, let me try the other the other side. Maybe, maybe it'll open on this side. None of the doors open in this. Wait a minute. Did he give me an actual key to this car? He didn't. Now I'm locked inside here. Holy guacamole. Okay, that's all right. I'll just call Daisy with my cell phone. Look for it, look for it. Where's my, oh my gosh, I left my cell phone in my room. That's okay, I'll just call for Daisy. Wait, I just, I roll up down the window and then call for her. Wait, the windows won't roll down either? This is a lemon, what a hunk of junk. Okay, I'll just try yelling as loud as I can. Daisy, Daisy. Oh my gosh, these puppy and kitty videos on YouTube are so adorable. Perfect. What was that? I thought I heard my name being called. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't see anybody outside. Weird. I'm hearing things. Back to my YouTube videos, though, because look at how adorable these kittens and puppies are. 
sound again. Oh man, maybe I need a snack or something. Obviously my blood sugar is low. <laughs> what is my sister doing? She must be able to hear me. I'm screaming my head off. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm going to be stuck in here until somebody comes outside. Oh well, at least I have a sleeping bag. Well, that's a little cozier. Now I just need some snacks. Mm. Our donut is delicious. Mm. And I'll wash it down with some Doritos. And a delicious shake from Starbucks. Mm. Well, I guess I'm sleeping out here tonight. Wow, well, it's kind of cold out here even with my sleeping bag. I hope I don't freeze. <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh, what a long overnight shift. Oh, thank goodness I'm home. Hey, wait a minute. Who's in my driveway? Someone just thinks they can park this hunk of junk in my driveway? Rude. That's it. I'm calling the, the tow company and they can come tow this junk out of my driveway. Towing service, how can I help you this early morning? Hello, this is Officer Dan. I just got home from an overnight shift at the police station and there's a hunk of junk of a car parked in my driveway for absolutely no reason. Oh, Officer Dan, we're so sorry to hear that. We'd be happy to help you right away. Okay, send a tow truck immediately, please. No problem, see you then. Bye. Oh good, here's the tow truck. Finally, I can get this hunk of junk out of my driveway. Yup, right here, yup, it's that green one. The one that says not a lemon when it absolutely definitely is a lemon. Hi there, no problem. We'll just get this car right out of your way, Officer Dan. Okay, Officer Dan, we're so sorry about this. We'll make sure we know who the owner is and um, we'll find them for it, right? Exactly. A fine should definitely be issued for parking in someone else's- Whoa! You're gonna drop the car! Oh, whoopsie, I forgot to put the straps on. My bad. Well, there's no more room at the car dump, so I guess we're just gonna throw it into Lake Madison. Here we go. See you later, hunk of junk car. Huh? What? What, what, what's happening? What, what, what's happening? Hey! Hey! Ah! Why are you throwing me in the lake? Ah! The doors won't open! Say what? Is, is there a person in there? Holy guacamole! Hold on! I'm coming to rescue you! You can't rescue me! The, the, the door won't open! Oh my gosh! This is tragedy! Okay, that's okay. I know how to hotwire this car. You do? Yeah, and I also know how to break it open with a hammer. Okay, stand back. I'm going to bust open the windshield. Here we go. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, the water's filling up. Hurry! Okay, uh, there should be enough for you to swim out. Um, oh, you saved my life. But you also tried to throw me into the lake. What is going on? Come back to the shore and I'll tell you. Um, Officer Dan called us about a hunk of junk of a car in, the, in, in his driveway, and I, and I didn't realize you were sleeping inside of it. Are you serious? Dad called my new car a hunk of junk? <laughs> well, I guess he does have a point. And now it's sinking to the bottom of Lake Madison. <laughs> uh, well, that was the worst hundred dollars I ever spent. <laughs> I should have bought a bike to drive me to school. <laughs> Well, um, sorry about the loss of your car. Whatever. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure, no problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, don't run over me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not the best driver. No problem. <laughs> well, see you later, first car. If I ever want to visit you, I'll scuba dive to the bottom of the lake. <laughs>